Well, making the first cup of coffee off the batteries and the inverter in the truck camper. It actually works. No alarms are going off. No fire. Nothing's hot. I'm running an extension cord right now. I have to run some 120 volt lines, which I'll do that this afternoon. But here's the uh, battery compartment that I built yes, uh, a couple days ago. I've got the 1000 watt inverter. This inverter is temporary. I ordered a 1500 watt inverter and it came in and it was defective. So I had to send it back. They're sending me another one. But I wanted to test it so I hooked up this 1000 watt inverter that I have. Uh, this battery box is insulated. These are lithium batteries. You cannot charge them under 32 degrees. So this box is insulated with styrofoam as you can see and then there's a heater in the box that automatically turns on at 40 degrees and keeps the batteries at 40 degrees and uh, then you can keep charging them even if it's freezing and where I'm going you know at times I'm up at 7,000 feet um, it's cold at night it'll get down into the teens and sometimes the single digits so this is the battery box, that's all, that's all done, and all the big heavy two gauge wires are running up to the command center, I guess we could call it. And we've got a monitor telling me that right now I'm putting four amps into the batteries from the solar. And it's actually a pretty cloudy day, so that's, that's really spectacular. 4.5 amps. Uh, going into the battery right now. It's interesting how these meters, I've got three meters here and they're all off by a couple of tenths. Uh, this is a dead man switch, shuts absolutely everything off should the end of the world come. Um, this dual circuit breaker is a special DC circuit breaker, not AC. Uh, DC from solar panels they will arc if you have a regular circuit breaker it'll actually weld the contacts together if it shorts out so you need a short extinguishing circuit breaker and that's what that is and this is the solar charge controller an EP ever very very good uh, max, uh, multiple power point solar charge controller this is the DC to DC battery charger which works off my trucks alternator um, so if I don't have any sun and I don't have the generator on and I'm traveling, uh, this bad boy will dump 40 amps into the batteries. So the batteries can be dead and it'll totally recharge them in, uh, let me do the math, five hours. Over here we've got um, what are called Anderson connectors. All kinds of different things plug into that. And then we have a USB outlet with a switch so I can turn it on. Uh, more importantly, I can turn it off. I'm not using it. Why use, you know, a couple of amps of battery life if I'm not charging a phone or whatever? And then a standard cigarette lighter plug. Uh, this is the remote turn on and fault indicator for the inverter. And over here, this switch here uh, is not hooked up right now yet. Oh, I guess it is. I take that back. Uh, this turns on the uh, DC to DC battery charger. So that's what's uh, going on in this bad boy. And this will give you an idea of what it looks like behind it. Uh, you can see these two disconnected wires here. I had to steal the, um, the fuse holder from the DC to DC charger. I ordered a couple more that will be here in a little while. I think this is pretty cool up here. This is a little pill bottle filled with fuses made a little bracket for it. That way I always have fuses available and hopefully I'll never have to use them. Everything's labeled so we know uh, we've got what six, seven, ten circuits and uh, we're using them all. Well I guess we're using nine. Well, anyways that's what's, uh, what's going on in the little camper. I got a nice cup of coffee interesting point on these Keurig machines they don't make them anymore these were made for hotels if you've stayed in hotels you've probably seen them they run on very low voltage because hotels didn't have 20 amp circuits in all the rooms 
And plus, it's impossible to pour water all over the place. Uh, if you don't have a cup under the unit, it will not work. If you pull the cup out, it'll immediately shut down. Um, they don't make them anymore, but I found a guy on Cape Cod that owned a hotel, and he's got 80 of these things, and he's selling them for $80 a piece. That's a, that's a smoking deal. Uh, if anybody wants one of these, you've got a camper, and you've got a small inverter, you need at least a 1,000-watt inverter because they draw 750 watts. But you can make coffee, Keurig coffee, with a thousand watt inverter. Everybody says you can't do it because most Keurig machines draw 1500 watts. So you need a 2000 watt inverter. And that's getting pretty involved once you get past about 1500 watts. So uh, get in touch with me. I know the guy. And uh, like I said, he's got a bunch of these. He bought them for his hotel and he, and, he, and he shut his hotel during COVID. So he's selling them for $80 each, which is a smoking deal because you, you simply can't get them. I actually bought a second one so that I have two of them in case one fails I, I want to make sure I have another one so that's what's going on in the little truck camper I got more work to do this afternoon with some some wiring see ya